Hey folks, Jerome Forsford here. It is 4.21 p.m. on March 11, 2023 in Burnaby, British Columbia, Canada. It is 9 degrees outside and an overcast afternoon in the city. In this video, I walk for 2 kilometers starting at the Translink Metro Town bus loop, then stroll northeast along Silver through Station Square, southeast along the Kingsway, cross the street at Sussex, then continue northwest along the Kingsway and my track at the Crystal Mall. If you would like to support the channel and help me purchase some new equipment, click the heart icon to send me a super thanks. To receive updates, follow me on Instagram at jforcewood. And if you enjoyed this video, please smash that like button, share it, and subscribe. Hey folks, Jerome Forsted here. We're at Station Square right now in Burnaby, British Columbia. Station Square is right next to, of course, uh, the Metro Town Mall. I just finished filming an unnarrated video through the mall. You can check that out on my other channel. Of course, there's a few things in Station Square. <laughs> you can come in here and you can just check out Station Square with me. It is uh, tiny in comparison to uh, the Metropolis at Metro Town Mall, of course. But you can see useful stores in here, like Bed Bath & Beyond. Of course, they're closing. <laughs> but there's the Neptune Noodle Bar and the Neptune Seafood Restaurant. And of course, the uh, cooperators where you can get insurance. And a Best Buy. Let's go back outside and uh, see what's up over on this side of Station Square. Haven't done much exploring in Burnaby. So uh, this will be a good opportunity for me and uh, glad to have you along. Of course, I have filmed a few videos at the Metropo uh, Metropolis of Metrotown shopping mall. And uh, plenty of you have uh, given me a thumbs up and told me you enjoyed it. So thank you uh, for the views and also thank you for the appreciation. It is appreciated in return. <laughs> Burnaby is an interesting area. Another area that I haven't gotten to explore quite yet is also... Oh, sorry. But we'll get there eventually. Wait. <laughs> So we're going to wait. We're at Kingsborough Street right now. 
and of course the closest intersection here <laughs> would be Kingsborough and McKay, but McKay's down there. Where are you going? Oh, you're, oh we're going down, yeah. This, of course, is a private road called Silver Drive that we're going to walk down right now. And it has several restaurants on it. It also has uh, several different condo buildings. Look, they ha look like they have upwards of 30 floors. I'm sure if you live in one of those buildings, you probably know exactly how many floors. So if you want to give me a heads up, be appreciated. Wow. Oh. <laughs> it's like we got people waiting outside to get into this restaurant. Then the local Earl's right next to it. And this is all part of the Station Square complex, of course. So it's a large shopping district. I can see one of the security guards ahead. Of course, they're not gonna so stop me from walking outside here. <laughs> but it's good to see that they're in the area and to uh, help keep the peace. This is the intersection of Silver and Assembly Way. I'm just going to take my turn. And if you're a driver, of course, uh, down Assembly Way is parking. It's a nice big Price Smart Foods here. And that helps serve as one of the central uh, shopping or grocery stores in the neighborhood. You can see Price Smart uh, grocery store is also in Richmond uh, along Number 3 Drive near uh, Ackroyd Street and Number 3 Drive. And this, of course, is the end of Silver Drive and the start of the Kingsway. <laughs> I think we'll walk this way and then we'll cross the street in a little bit and come back up the other side of the Kingsway. Kingsway is one of the main thoroughways through uh, Vancouver particularly the east side of Vancouver and uh, Burnaby as well. This, of course, is the backside of the Metropolis and Metro Town shopping mall. You can see the real Canadian superstores in there. Big popular store that people like to go to. And it also backs on to the Cineplex Odeon, too. Normally when I come to the Metropolis on Metro Town uh, <laughs> shopping mall, 
you see me approach from the other way, whether that be uh, the bus loop or uh, the SkyTrain. And both of those, any day of the week will be super busy, but especially Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays, it gets really busy because this is one of the big malls in the neighborhood. And also one of the big malls in the region. We could continue going down that way, but uh, we're going to cross right here. So this is Sussex Ave and the Kingsway. Just waiting for it to change. Might be a little cloudy for the camera, but I can see clearly the top of the mountains. So hopefully you're getting a mountain view too. If not, just to let you know, you can get a mountain view here. And let's turn down the Kingsway. So besides the different shopping malls that are in the area, of course there's a big shot of the metropolis at Metro Town. <laughs> the Kingsway also has plenty of little different shops on it and uh, different stores, different services. Lots of nice restaurants. So it's definitely a good idea to come down here and uh, check out some of the restaurants in the area. Bay does it when we're in Vancouver on the Vancouver side of the metropolis, <laughs> Vancouver side of the Kingsway. Bay, when he's in the neighborhood, likes to go and pick up Chicken World there. Chicken World on Demon Street is really good, but Chicken World also on the Kingsway. It's a bigger Chicken World. And he just likes supporting the chain, so... <laughs> it's just depending on which one he picks up at. But both are really good. Of course, I, I don't know much about the restaurants on the Burnaby side here. But if I, I see a chain restaurant that I'm familiar with, or I see a busy restaurant, I'll try to point that out to you. Of course, this is one of the local tattoo parlors here. It's called Geronimo Tattoo. It's actually kind of busy. That's usually the good sign of a good tattoo place. Of course, uh, this barber shop is packed. <laughs> Mondo Fade. Very cool, very cool. A few bubble tea shops. I just had a bubble tea, so. <laughs> I'm not gonna pick up one over here right now. But I have heard good things about the bubble tea in Burnaby. So definitely worth checking out and I'll check it out uh, sometime in the future when I'm exploring probably when the weather's a little warmer so we'll continue on the Kings right here Just crossing McKay Ave. Oh, looks like we gotta pick it up. Wasn't any warning. Nice to see the drivers holding off though. <laughs> so 
So we'll continue on the king's way here. Now we're coming up to uh, Willingdon Ave. Of course, if you were on Willingdon Ave, you could take that all the way up to uh, Hastings Street, beyond East Hastings Street in Burnaby. And uh, <laughs> from there, you can catch the R5 back to Waterfront Station. Or that also takes you to the, the Heights, or Burnaby Heights neighborhood. This is the intersection of uh, Willington and the Kingsway. We're going to wait on this side and then we're going to cross the street and head on over to the Crystal Mall. Haven't been inside there yet, so I'd like to see what's up. Just wait for the light to change. These are longer streets, they have advances. So if you see an arrow that's flashing, but it's when there's still a red light, that's just an advance for the cars. That doesn't mean we cross yet. We have to wait for the actual full green light without the red light. Uh, you can also see the crosswalk sign here, but if the crosswalk sign wasn't here, that's what you need to be waiting for. Okay, we can cross. So this is the Crystal Mall. Looks like a tiny <laughs> little place. Very cool. This is more of a Chinese focus mall. Of course, you can see the dry goods store right here. Got the shrimp and mushrooms, dates, and all this other beautiful stuff. 
<laughs> this is a bit of a different experience from the Metropolis on Metro Town Mall. There's a marketplace here. Wow. <laughs> Look at all these different shops. Wow. This is like the Richmond Public Market. Dumplings. More dry goods. And a little bit like the Granville Market, too. Seafood stores. Good Friends Supermarket. Eco-wise food products. Very cool. Now it looks like there's more if we go back, so we'll backtrack a bit. More dry goods. Herbal ingredients as well. I am definitely going to bring bay here. There is so much good stuff here. This is like a little hidden gem. Local butcher. Ooh, that looks good. Oh, they got pig's tails too, eh? Pig's tails, when you have them, they're, the meat's sweet if you cook it right. Looks like there's a second floor to this mall too. Wow. Okay, let's we'll see if we can figure out how to get up there. So looks like it does barbecue and butchery. Butchery. <laughs> looks like I found the escalator. Looks like we got an egg waffle place over there. You can use this mirror. And there you can see it. There's Top King Barbecue and Meat Co. So they do barbecue. Look at this place. Like, wow. This is the Crystal Market. Oh my gosh, there's a food court up here. It smells delicious. Okay, I think we'll start over here. And we'll walk around this loop first. Yep. Can you see this many people here? This place is good. It's kind of crowded. I want to be careful. I do have an umbrella hanging off of my bag. Mango Charmy. Hmm. Gonna have to come back and check out that bubble tea shop. Don't think there's anything else on this side. There's a Shanghai dim sum house. Always love fast food dim sum. Oh wow. Barbecue restaurants. <laughs> now, just to uh, remind you, it isn't hard to get to this place because it's right next to the Metropolis of Metrotown. Shopping mall, 
So it's just the mall over, a little closer to the Vancouver border. There's some restaurants over there. It looks like they're just closed for the day. Passport, photo place. Yeah, very, very cool. <laughs> Here's one of those stores where you can buy massage chairs. It's such a Vancouver thing. Marble House Eatery. <laughs> you can see the courtyard out there. This looks more like the financial sector. <laughs> That's probably why it's all quiet over here. Doesn't look like anything, but uh, Anthony's optical is open. That's okay. I'll show it to you either way. And there's a few other things open here. Like, look at that. Wow. Very cool. Playing uh, a traditional Chinese instrument. Can't remember what that's called, but I've seen it a few times, of course, living here in Vancouver as well as uh, Toronto. Seems like a, there's a few of those stores. So like a lot of Asian focused malls. I'm sure this place gets busy on uh, during the weekdays too. That's probably when most of the stores are open. Oh, looks like we're coming back to the food court. There's a J&D fried chicken here too. <laughs> nice local chain. Coming to the Kingsway Street.
Just gonna take a quick peek at this uh, courtyard here. Of course, it is the winter time, so it's not surprising to see the fountain off. <laughs> Look at that. Wow. So anyways, I'm going to finish the video off here. <laughs> I'm just going to sit down and take a break. So uh, thank you for watching and uh, remember to share, like, and subscribe. And uh, I'll talk to you later, folks. Okay? Have a good day.